Good morning, everybody. My name is Silvia Cusada. Um, I am an ex Scientology. I left in 2010 and I have published several videos. The reason um, I decided to publish this video is because many things have changed during this time. Uh, one of the things that have changed is that the many false information, false data, many lies that you acquire while being in the Church of Scientology, they have faded away. I was, uh, I always felt very, very lucky of the training and uh, the information I acquired while being 15 years in the church. Uh, it was a great treasure to me and it's been helping me on my further research. Uh, on the Church of Scientology, I achieved states uh, uh, which are called uh, OT, uh, OT7 and uh, also the uh, one of the higher training which is the Centil Special Briefing Course or Class 6 Auditor. Um, they were very valuable uh, status at the time, today they are just uh, a piece of paper and uh, I'm glad, very glad I'm not uh, anymore attached to those uh, status. But you have to admit that the Church of Scientology makes, it, makes a lot of money by keeping this status alive. So people uh, ask me where I am now and I'm saying that my only answer is I am on the path to truth. Um, many people join the Church of Scientology because they have problems, because they feel they want to be happier because they would like to have more money, more possession, uh, a better family. Those, uh, um, they have to see that uh, all aims that uh, a human um, have, it has not much of a spiritual. Um, when uh, the Church of Scientology promises people uh, superpower, it promises people that uh, they are going to be able to live, as they call it, an operating titan. Now, somebody that uh, has control over other people, not only their own life, but, you know, other people. Um, I find that to be actually... Uh, very a very materialistic uh, point of view and a very big trap for somebody that is looking to live the game and the illusion we call life. Um, practice in Scientology, it has actually a very uh, solidifying effect on a being. Um, we believe that uh, we are a spirit living in a body or at least having an illusion to be a body. Now, uh, one of the things I have found out uh, during my research in the last six years is uh, every time you actually use and the more you use the energy of this universe, the more you become part of it. So um, I went in to study many other um, philosophers, I studied Castaneda, I studied one of my favorites which, which is uh, Ouspensky um, and uh, Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti is a little bit uh, a higher level because it talks strictly to the static, to the, the essence and the spirit. So it's not easy, but uh, if you find, uh, if you read uh, pieces of, of Krishnamurti and you uh, feel you actually can grasp a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, find yourself a gradient so you can get to fully understand what is an uh, amazing uh, spiritual being has communicated or has tried to communicate to this universe. Now, um, I do not practice Scientology today. I, I kept uh, many of the information and I, by doing my research I actually found out that they were just a little tiny part of a sea of knowledge. Um, Aaron Abar has, uh, he actually mentioned it in one of the, his first uh, books, but he has taken from many, many, many others. And he has compiled a little step, which is very, very good for the real beginner. It's very good for who wishes to have material gain. 
So if you are, if your aim when you start this path is to be solid, is to be an happy human being, which I, beside that there are not happy human being because this is a, a universe which is made of the yin and the yang, which is two different type of energy. Uh, good and bad, they are, they are just labeled to a type of energy. So um, they coexist in this universe and this is how it is made. So uh, whoever is promised you happiness, complete happiness, complete success is lying to you, is actually trying to um, take advantage of you. You have to you have to really understand that, that people that believe in complete happiness they are delusional. They just can um, can they don't have enough inner strength to realize that this world is made of both pain and happiness. And the best thing to do is actually to have a balance. But the, the really good thing to do, and this is what uh, most Hindu philosophy and, um, and other philosophy actually teach, is detachment. Um, Aaron Arbor in Scientology uh, says many, 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 many times that this universe is an illusion. Um, it, it says that, and at the same time, he has a full range of technology which makes you solid and it teaches you how to play in the illusion. Um, so it, it's a little bit contradictory, um, but if you are in a, in a real search, in a real search for truth, not for happiness, not for perception, not for success. If you are really searching for truth, you have to get away from that. And the best way to get away from that is detachment, is realizing that you are not the doer. You are the witness. You are watching the movie. You are watching the play. You are not actually playing it. And so in this way, you can just, uh, you know, flow along in not being so, um, so overwhelmed by the, the idea that uh, is given you since the first time you actually um, get, you know, you born that you are a body, that you are Joe or Pete or Ellen or Mary, you're not those those names, you are not that form of energy, you are not. And, um, and so Castaneda says that um, the moment you, you get in a, in, into a world and you start using it, you become trapped of that. And you can see that, you know, you can see that even when you dream. Anyway, the, uh, so what I really wanted to say with this video is that if you have left the Church of Scientology, the first things you should ask yourself, first you should say to yourself, hey, I did a good thing, because there is no way you can be free in a, in a world or in, a, in an environment of lies, of uh, trapped you know, of, uh, uh, surrounded by people that lie to you and they control you. You need to be free. So, well done. Second, if you, you have to ask yourself what you really want to do. So if you, if you aim to happiness, if you aim to success is one thing. If you aim to truth, it's totally another path that you have to choose. Um, however, whenever you want to start, you should start by taking, um, you know, taking advantage of all the material that are available online and study. So you have to remember that knowledge is not something that can be sold. You can't buy that. You have to work on it because your knowledge and your awareness is something very personal. The path is something personal. So it's like every one of us is putting together a puzzle. Now, I can't give you a puzzle if your picture is different than mine because you will never find a place for it. So you have to research and you might read an old book to find one piece, but that is one piece. So you have made a step and plus it gives you idea, you know, even to know that that is not where I want to go. It's already a step. So there is no 
like many people write me oh my god I left the church I don't know what to do now I'm alone I will never get the spiritual freedom no you actually have more chances to get spiritual freedom now because you can study of course if you really want to make it because you know in order to walk this path you have to, to have enough courage to make it a priority you know to to decide I'm gonna study so it depends really on you it doesn't depend of uh, on a counselor nobody nobody can ever put you on a on a path on this kind of path so only people that um, as a real have a real intention of making it they are gonna make everybody else is gonna get loose it's gonna go get uh, and find many excuses and, and many reasons why they can't do it and that's fine they probably need more time than other people so um this is what uh, what I wanted to tell. I, I'm here and available for anyone that need, need help. Um, I don't tell you what to do. I tell you how to find your path, and that's what I what I want people to realize that they are free, and there is a path, and they can do it. But depends on them. So. Uh, I have a blog that you can check and it's uh, uh, siliacusadawordpress.com and you can also email me um, anytime and um, I wish you good luck and um, start working.